about the order of the Red Star, the medical mission led by Dr. Kotnis, who's a legend in China. So tomorrow, when our military contingent marches through the Red Square, it would be an affirmation of the difference that we made. When victors met to fashion the ensuing global order, the political circumstances of that era did not give India due recognition. This historical injustice has stood uncorrected over the last 75 years, even as the world has changed. Therefore, on this momentous occasion, it is important for the world to realize both the contribution that India made and the need to rectify the past. But beyond history, international affairs must also come to terms with contemporary reality. The United Nations began with 50 members. Today it has 193. Surely its decision, decision making cannot continue to be in denial of this fact. We, the RIC countries, have been active participants in shaping the global agenda. It is India's hope that we will also now converge on the value of reformed multilateralism. Excellencies, this special meeting reiterates our belief in the time-tested principles of international relations. But the challenge today is not just one of concepts and norms, but equally of their practice. The leading voices of the world must be exemplars in every way. Respecting international law, recognizing the legitimate interests of partners, supporting multilateralism and promoting common good are the only way to build a durable world order. I thank Russia for convening this meeting and I look forward to our further discussions.